actually had a question. I don't know if it's too late to ask. Oh, it. yeah, Dave Smith. Yeah, sorry, I don't type in the chat because I'm doing everything on a mobile phone. I just don't have a computer next to me. So it'd be, it'd take forever to type it in there. So I apologize for that. So <clears throat> I know during the uh, <clears throat> Millionaire Jumpstart, you guys have gone over the, um, the ghost company for the websites. So my question was, uh, when we do the website, set up the web websites and all the names, should, should, is it possible to put it in a trust or use a trust to be the representative for when you set it up or it's not necessary? It's, and, it's uh, not necessary. Um, but so the way you want to think about the other company is that that's for your portal page. So let's say that you are, uh, I don't know, VegasHomeBuyers.com and VegasHomeSellers.com. Well, then you can have the portal page as VegasHomes.com without the buyer or the seller part. Okay, that's, that's what I thought because I'm like, you have one for buying, <clears throat> one for selling, and then probably one as a combo so somebody can go to. And then the next question I had was when we set up our, um, our checking account, should the, uh, should the management checking account kind of rhyme with the, with the buying and selling address, like Vegas out buyers management are totally different to throw everything off. It's not necessary, but, uh, you know, let's say that it was, uh, what did, what did I say a minute ago? Vegas, VegasHomes.com. It could be Vegas Property Management, and it's not a .com, right? It's just a Vegas Property Management. So, yes, you could tie in the name of the company with the bank account, but don't make it exactly the same. Yeah, best practice is just kind of maybe pick something entirely different with management in it, so they don't correct. Connect. Correct. So that's the whole idea is to keep everything separate. Because I want to go open up a banking account tomorrow with a with a personal property trust. So I got to figure out how to get an EIN or a TIN number through IRS.gov. I don't know how long it's going to take if it's all online or not. And minutes. Then as soon as I get that. Minutes. Minutes. Okay, good. Cause I want to go. Yeah. Up and and if account. you don't, if you don't get their questions answered within 10 minutes, they make you start over again. Gotcha. Okay. And you can only get one number a day from what the IRS, cause I know um, Kevin, I think he said he got five a day, uh, but I don't know if that's still anymore or something like it's that. Not no, five a day, he would get one. He would have five trusts, but he would only oh. get one oh. EIN for Bruce, each of those let, trusts let that he's going to use. Let, Bruce, for... let Kevin answer it, okay? Bruce is correct. I'd get one a day and I would hang on to five of them. I would use them in my home. HUD home store bidding. Gotcha. Oh, you know, that was the other question I wanted to ask you about because I'm looking at head, uh, HUD home and I see there's several in where I want to buy. And what's the, I know you said send an, a bid in uh, every day. That's not the asking price. So what's your procedure? I mean, do you just cut it 50%, 25%, 30% you, and just keep going? If you watch the cap training, you'll see some percentages. Oh, good. All right. So that's what I'm going to do for the next two days. <laughs> Exactly right. Excellent. That's exactly Thank right. You. And, you know, you're going to be an um, amazing coaching client for the Shrivers too, because, uh, you know, coming with your cap package, which next Sunday we'll have time to put together all the congratulations and we'll be welcoming on all the new caps that have joined us from Vegas. Uh, and definitely you're one of them. And so uh, just looking forward to getting you going on the coaching because it's going to be a wild ride for sure. Oh, I hope so. I hope it's a wild, exciting, fantastic ride because I'm ready to, to kind of launch this thing off and get going. I want to get back down to Florida with my family and I'm tired of being up here in Connecticut. So I'm looking to build a business that's going to get me there. <laughs> and I think uh, probably Eric Reisner just kind of rose up and said, Connecticut, what did you say? because <laughs> eric is there in connecticut yeah I, I love connecticut i'm just tired of the cold and the government so <laughs> i'm gonna go other places greener passion i tell you what king ned did to us with our rental property um not really trusting connecticut anymore and eric eric's looking all all uh, bundled up there <laughs> and his cap logo wear and everything else 
<laughs> I what need one this? more sweatshirt to put over all this. <laughs> one more. And Eric, what does it say behind you? It says the community, what does it say? Community affordable housing. What's that last word? Goal. Okay, goal. the community 40 affordable housing goal. Great. So you're, I, I happen to have a uh, VA um, who works closely with uh, Janice Brown, and she just made this for me, and so I use it. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. 